Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs and today I thought what we would do is um, just kind of play around with some different things to try and make a paper look kind of translucent and I know people have done this before but I'm trying different things I thought okay so let's see what I have around the house because I don't want to go out and get anything right now so um, I had a few things and I've used a few before but I just kind of wanted to see uh, what would work the best okay so I've got um, some glycerin um, that I bought a while back it's vegetable glycerin and I thought well maybe I'll maybe I'll try that I've got some unscented hairspray uh, from the dollar store just cheap maximum hold hairspray I've got some baby oil um, and then I've got some clear acrylic uh, sealer and, and I've got some beeswax and I don't have the paste I just have the regular uh, you know stick beeswax anyway I have done these a few of these before and I was testing them out a little while ago and I do want to show you what I did come up with and you can get an idea this is the beeswax and basically you just melt it and you know make sure it goes all over and I've used beeswax for covers before so I know that it does make it kind of translucent and you can't completely see through it but it has a really cool quality to it um, you can I don't know if I put something behind there that you can see um, let's see how about mm, let's see here like okay let's just say these scissors so you can see them through there right and this was just done on regular copy paper so it would normally be it would normally look something like this so you would not be able to see through it okay so now I put the beeswax on there and you can kind of see through it okay and then I did it with um, this is with baby oil so that worked really well I thought um, okay and then this is done with um, acrylic sealer so I think on this I've done it before on um, on um, tracing paper and it works really really well it makes it very see-through but on this it didn't do as well and I'm thinking I probably needed to spray the back of it so I didn't do that so I haven't used some of the other things there so I think I'm gonna try a few of those out I'm not gonna do it on as big a piece of paper I don't think let's see I've got a few extra pieces here that I had at some point cut these out and I thought well might as well you know see how they work so let's say if, like for this one I haven't done the glycerin <coughs> And I thought what I would do is just take a little bit of glycerin, just like I did. I figured it would work because the baby oil works. So, and I'm going to take a little used, um, a little bit of a used uh, uh, wipe. And I can tell you right now that the baby oil seemed to saturate it better. So I don't know. I do not know. I can't really tell that it's doing anything do the other side of it and see what happens seems like the the uh, the baby oil seemed to saturate it better when I did it so I'm gonna do that get it all in there get it on there good okay I can see it kind of going through there now I think it's just taking a little bit more to saturate it than the um, baby oil did. The baby oil just kind of went right in there. Alright. Yeah, that seems like it's working okay. I think the baby oil probably worked better. Let me put that in there. Now, the only thing about the baby oil in this, it's going to take a while to dry. 
and you really can't tell the total effect until it's completely dry but you can kind of get an idea you have to rub it in there to where it's really soaked in yeah it's starting to look a little bit more translucent now okay all right so that is let's see if we can see that oh well, it's okay it did make it translucent but I don't know I don't I don't I don't know I guess we really can't tell if it's completely dry I don't know if I can hit it with this if it'll make any difference heat it up a little bit if you hear my vent fan in the back um, it's because I wanted to make sure that everything was well ventilated all right here we go yeah I mean I think it works um, I don't know I would say not quite as good as a baby oil so let's see we'll try another one uh, let's see. Now I haven't done the hairspray, so I'm going to try that. Let's see how the hairspray works. And the reason I thought about using hairspray is because I have used the sealer before, and I thought, well, okay, let's see. Now in the sealer, I didn't do both sides, and I think that was kind of a mistake, so want to smear the ink or anything. Let's see. Is that smearing? Oh, not really. And this is just done with an ink jet printer. It's not a um, anything special. Not any special ink or anything. So it's dry. I mean, I've, I've had these for a while, but okay. So. Got a lot of hairspray on that. I don't know. Try that a little bit. Should dry pretty quick, I would think. And I've never tried this before, so I really have no idea how this is going to turn out. So. I have used hairspray as a sealer before, so it just kind of made sense to me that it might work. Well, I can kind of tell it's not really working. It doesn't really look like it's working. Yeah, if you want to look at this one, it doesn't look like it made it very translucent at all. It did It really didn't do anything, I don't think. I don't think it did anything to it at all. So the hairspray is a no-go. So let's put that aside. I think it, maybe it'll turn out better when it dries. Okay, so I'm going to show you... So this was... Um, I'm going to show you how the baby oil works, just so you can see if you have never seen this. You just put a little bit on there, and and it just kind of here. Let me get a clean, clean one so it, we're doing this fair, right? And then just take this, and you want to get it to saturate. It is the goal, and. When you saturate it, what that does is it it does make it translucent. Okay, so you really don't have to do the other side because it does go through. Now, see how the glycerin, how we had to turn it over? Okay, so now on this, I'm going to dry it a little bit. Just so you can see. Now this will take longer to dry 
but whenever I've done this, I just leave whatever I'm doing out at night, and by the next morning it's dry, so you don't really have to, you know, it doesn't take days and days, but it does take a little bit longer. But I just wanted you to see kind of what it looks like, and so you can see that made it pretty translucent pretty quick. So it does give it a really cool quality, a nice texture to it. Um, I would think that that's pretty good. Let's see if I can find one similar to that. So we're comparing apples to apples. Okay, so let's say now I'm not going to do the um, spray except for a small, a tiny small piece. And the reason for that is because it really should be done outside in a well ventilated area. So I'll do that next. I'm going to go ahead and do the wax now. I think what I'll do on the wax too is I'm just going to do a small piece because it takes a little while. So we'll do that. I'll put that over here. I'll do a small one on the wax too. That way you don't have to wait for me to do the whole thing. Again, this is just regular copy paper. Um, and I'm just trying to give it a kind of a translucent look. Okay, I'm just going to let that melt a little bit before I mess with it. And I just let the wax drip. Now you can use a paste wax and it'll definitely smooth over, but I just had this already. I'll use my tweezers in a minute, okay? So you're just doing basically the same thing you tried to do with the oil. Is you're trying to get enough on there to where and I just kind of melt it all around and then let me get a thing and I'll wipe it while it's wet. Get it nice and saturated. It looks like it needs a little bit more. You can kind of tell if you need to put more on there because it'll look dry compared to the rest of it. And I usually just take it when it's wet. One thing about the wax is it dries really quick. It dries really, really quick. So we're going to just kind of smush this around a little bit. And then hit it one more time so it's nice and even. Okay. It's all saturated on there, and then it dries like almost instantly. So I just kind of go like that, and then you will see. See that is very that's very translucent. I don't know if you can tell. I think it's something else there that has like a. You can see that under there. I don't know. It's the same color, so you're not seeing it very well. I need something contrasting. Oh. See? See if you can see that. If you can see right through there. See? So it does make it pretty translucent. I don't know. Maybe if we did the back a little too, see what happens. saturated on there pretty good so and the one that like I said the one really good thing about using the wax is it, it dries completely so that made it a little bit more translucent so I guess if you do both sides so the wax turned out pretty good I think I think it turned out probably as good as the baby baby oil so that's something to think of yeah I think the baby oil and the wax probably turned out pretty good um, and then I will show you this last one here, and this is the, um,
this would be, and I'm only doing a small piece because really this should be done outside. Here, I'll get some of this off of here a little bit so you don't have to scrape some of that off. It comes right off, so not a big deal. Alright, so this I'm just going to use. This is just clear acrylic sealer. I think you could use just about any kind. Stay still. Now when I did this before, I didn't do the back, so I'm going to do the back this time, because I did the back with the hairspray. So I really didn't want to do a big piece of this, because honestly, you're supposed to do this outside. So, anyway, I'm going to dry that real quick so y'all can see. So this, I think it made it, yeah, it made it pretty much, here, we'll use this again. It made it translucent, but I actually think the baby oil worked better. I think the baby oil and the wax worked better out of all of them. So those would be my two things. And, um, and I think it's probably because it penetrates it really well and it goes through there. Now I will tell you I have done and I'll show you a little piece of it because I don't want to, like I said, do a lot of it. I have done the clear acrylic sealer and I got these out because I just want to do just small pieces. I don't want to do a whole bunch because ugh. In fact, I don't know, maybe I should just do this one right here. And I'll show you. It turns out really good. Let me see if I can get my tweezers. Where are they? Where are my tweezers? Okay, that way I don't get it all over my hands. Okay, so one thing I will tell you, I have used a clear acrylic sealer. And on um, this is on uh, vellum, okay? which is already translucent, okay? So I don't know if these other things will work like this, so I'm gonna, we're gonna test it. So we're gonna try all these on vellum. And I have done it on vellum before, and it makes it like completely translucent with the sealer. But I have never done, I haven't done it with the other items, so we shall see. Wipe that up, because it's making a mess. Probably did that a little bit too much on there. So, let's just see how that turns out. Just to give you an idea. Because I have done it before with that, and it did turn out really kind of cool. But I've never done it with oil or any of the other items, so... And like I said, you would normally want to do this outside. That's why I'm not doing a really big piece. I don't want to Alright, so, wipe that up a little more. As you can see, that is almost completely see through. I mean, that is, look, see? That is amazing. I love how that looks. And I have done that before with the um, with the sealer, and I've used it like whole sheets of paper and stuff, and it, it turns out really neat. So that's the sealer. So I was thinking, let me try it with the oil, because I've never done that. Just kind of see how that works. 
think I've determined that the baby oil works better than the glycerin, so we'll work with that. And again, this is already on vellum, just on tracing paper, whatever. So let me get another little, take a little bit, put it on there. I just figured it would do the same. The only thing I'm thinking is I wonder if it doesn't penetrate on the vellum as much as the uh, sealer would affect it. So, oh yes it does. Actually, wow, okay. That is even more see-through. So, actually, I don't know, did it take some of the color off? I don't know, but if you can see that, it's not all the way dry. Let me dry it a little bit and see. Let me dry it a little. So it did do it on the um, vellum, which I didn't think it would do. Now the oil, you know, like I said, it does take a little while for it to dry. But can definitely do it inside. Don't have to worry about the fumes. You can see some of the oil burning off with my my uh, heat gun. But okay, so yeah, so that actually turned out really well. Wow, guys, look at that! Isn't that great? So you can take your your um, use your uh, here. You can see them side by side. So they both work really well. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see. So what was the other thing? Oh, we could try the wax because the wax turned out pretty good. Let's see how that is. Let's see. I don't have the same one. I want it big enough so you can see. Here, I'll do this one. It's not color, but it'll maybe it'll work. Let's see here. What did I do with my tweezers so I can melt it? Anyway, I just thought I would try some of these things because I was trying to think, well, I know people have done it with the wax. I know people have done it with the... Um, sealer. I haven't done it with the oil. I'm sure it probably hasn't been done somewhere, but I was just kind of playing with it, and I thought, well, you know what? Let's see how it works. Okay, that worked really well, I think. So this will dry really quickly, but if you want to see, look at that. See how translucent that is? That is very translucent. You can kind of see that right there. So that worked really well, I thought. Well, so those work good. So, um, all in all, I would say the sealer works well, the baby oil works well, and the beeswax works well. Um, those would be my top picks. I do like uh, the beeswax because, as you can see, this is completely dry already. It doesn't stink or anything, so um, the sealer is kind of good because I think it seals the color in. Looks like the baby oil kind of faded the color a little bit on this, so it didn't smear it. So I'm not sure what exactly happened on that. So that would be my vote. And as far as doing it on, on paper, it just seems like the baby oil worked really well. Um, again, I think the beeswax um, works extremely well. Now the the uh, acrylic on the regular paper just didn't seem to work that well. It seemed to work really pretty good on the um, the uh, translucent powder. I mean, I mean, uh, excuse me, on the whew, can't talk um, on the copy paper. It didn't work that well. It worked. It worked well on the um, 
gosh, I can't think of what it is. The vellum. It worked well on the vellum, but it didn't seem to work. It didn't work all that. Like, see here. Yeah, this is the this is the uh, ac acrylic sealer. So I don't think it did much at all to it. And I did both sides. So I don't know. The wax did well on the regular paper. The oil did well. And then this was the glycerin oil. And honestly, I don't think the glycerin oil did as well as the uh, baby oil. So, if I were going to, I would definitely do the baby oil before I would do the glycerin. The glycerin oil really didn't, it didn't do much. The baby oil seemed to do about a lot better. Okay. So, anyway, that's my take on that. I just thought, since I was kind of playing around with it, I would uh, just turn on the... Um, Turn on the uh, camera and let you guys see. So this was, yeah, this was, that was the baby oil. And then that was the beeswax. And then this was the, um, again, the uh, acry acrylic spray. So out of those for regular paper, definitely be the beeswax and the baby oil. Um, and I really think maybe, well, they both turned out well, so I don't really know. I think they both did pretty good. See, there's the baby oil, and then there's the beeswax, so, um, now I probably, if you had a liquid beeswax, I bet it would work, um, probably better than the, this, because this is probably leaving a little thicker than what you would have if you had the, um, the uh, the the liquid, but you could just probably use plain old baby oil works really well. So I thought that I mean that works I think extremely well. So um, and I think it worked well on the um, on the uh, the other the uh, gosh I can't talk today can I the uh, tracing paper or vellum. So, I think it worked really well. I actually think on the vellum, um, as good as the baby oil worked, I think I actually like the beeswax better. I just think it, I don't know, it made it even, I don't know. I just think the finish turned out better. But anyway, try these out for yourself. See if you like them. Have some fun with it. But this could be a really fun thing to put in your journals as some see-through uh, paper, translucent paper. So anyway, thank you guys. And don't forget, on Fridays I have Giveaway Fridays. And all you have to do to, be, to get that, uh, to be a part of that, is to simply watch a video during the week. It can be an old video, a new video, it doesn't matter. And make a comment. And if and be a subscriber and that enters you in and if you um, if your name is pulled on Friday then you know I, I give away um, journals I give away I'm destashing I have so much stuff to give away guys um, and um, so it, it can be either a destash or a journal or whatever you can look at some of my old videos if you want to see kind of the things I give away and um, you have up until Thursday of that week to claim your prize and if you don't then it goes back in the pot and I just keep going till I give it away so um, I pay up to ten dollars shipping and after that you can decide whether you want to pay the difference so um, anyway just uh, like subscribe you know and make a comment and you'll be entered in so anyway you guys have a nice day evening or whatever and I hope you're getting some time to do some crafting all right Take care.